What's up everyone? We have some brand new exciting updates for the Stocked Up Stock Analysis Dashboard. For those of you who don't know, there are basically two main types of analysis when it comes to investing and trading. You have technical analysis and this is by far the most popular type of analysis, especially among just like everyday traders. Uh, this involves like trend lines and a bunch of patterns and indicators and a bunch of stuff like that. And then you also also have what's called fundamental analysis which doesn't really look at like price action or charts too much but instead focuses on fundamentals and how the company itself is actually doing like how their earnings are how high their net margins are uh, what valuation they're trading at you know what their expenses are doing what are their debt levels and things like that and basically at the end of the day uh, while technical analysis is very popular fundamental analysis is also it's nowhere near as popular, but it's also extremely important. And if you ignore fundamental analysis, it will be a big mistake, especially over long periods of time. So learning how to understand fundamental analysis and then like actually analyze companies will be key to long-term profits, you know, over the long term, obviously. So basically what our stock analysis dashboard does is it makes analyzing fundamentals of any company very easy and interactive. Traditionally, if you wanted to look at the fundamentals of a company, you would have to read through 200 page earnings reports and it's just boring and it's it's just a bad system. You might go to Yahoo Finance as well and you might look at their data, but even this, like it's just, it, it's just, it's not it's not organized there's not a lot of data and even if you did want access to more data um you have to pay them like 35 dollars a month and it's even at that point it's not even that good what our software does is it comes in makes everything easy to read easy to understand and it's cheaper than yahoo finance so uh like for example you can you can look at yahoo finance and you could see that you know you only have like a couple years worth of data and it's just unorganized and it doesn't look good where with us you know you can see 10 years of data right now and we're set to add 30 years worth of data coming soon and you can see everything in a nice easy to see way it's broken down by the balance sheet the income statement the cash flow statement if also what you could do right now we're looking at like let's say apple's cash and short-term investments over time which went from like 40.5 billion to 48 billion with highs of over 100 billion but you could also break it down by quarter and you could see like how the data changes up here from quarterly into an annual way as well and if you are always looking at certain let's say data points like let's say you're always trying to look at i don't know uh, they're a company's goodwill. If you just click on this, it will actually highlight the entire row for you so it stands out in the future. And this is just one of many ways that our software can really help give investors the edge going forward, especially when it comes to fundamental analysis. And that's just one thing of many things we have to talk about in today's video. We're also going to be going over some brand new updates that we have to the software. Basically, with all stocked up products, when you sign up for them, they literally act as an investment in the sense that they get better and better and better over time. So like our first version of the dashboard was like a Google Sheets like document and you know it, it, it did a good job but we are just constantly adding more and more features all the time we are working behind the scenes and investing more and more money into the software to just make it better and better and better. Another thing with all stocked up products once you sign up the price you pay you will never pay higher than that so for example if you sign up right now for let's say thirty dollars a month and the price rises to seventy dollars a month in the future you will be locked in at 30. so we're always working very hard behind the scenes to make our software better than everyone else so let's get more into the details so right now you know we'll start off by saying uh you know you could just type in a stock ticker symbol and you know just press enter and all the data loads very quickly in a nice and easy way um right now we're in dark mode but if we want to get a little bit um i guess you could say more if you want to have a different appearance you can toggle the light mode um so that's easy also this software works on all devices whether it's you know computers laptops ipads whatever it, it, it's very adaptable 
But we can see once we type in a ticker symbol, you know, we can see a description of the company, what they're worth, the stock, their the price that the stock is currently trading at. We, you know, and then from hit from there, you can customize to see what basically whatever data you want on the main dashboard page. Right now, I am looking at revenue and cost of revenue over the years, so we can see how re uh, Microsoft's revenue just straight up exploded over the past decade, which is awesome. But you could also break it down into a quarterly viewpoint as well. And if you only wanted one data point on the chart it's super easy to do that you just click and it works so it's very very easy in that sense also like I said you can customize to see whatever data you want so it's as simple as clicking add new chart whether you want it to be an annual or quarterly chart we'll do annual and then you just pick what you want so if you want to see their dividends paid over time and if you just want to see that that's fine but if you also want to see like their total uh, you can say total debt. It's very, very customizable in that sense. And that's awesome because, you know, if you really want to like look at how a company's revenue is growing over time, it's like you can look at it in a boring way on Yahoo Finance like this or some other way, or you can see it in a nice, easy and visualized way within seconds. And like I said, it works for literally every single company and it works quickly too and it's customizable. So now I, want, now I want to go a little bit deeper into some other cool features that we have to offer. Um, fundamental analysis is awesome, but we also have some features uh, that go into what other people are actually trading for any given stock. So basically with our software, you can see what insiders of the company are actually doing with the stock, and you can also see what senators and people in government are actually trading with that given stock. So for example, let's say we look at Apple in the top left, we have that typed in, we can see all of the insider trades from Apple we can see who made the insider trades whether they bought or sold and how much they bought or sold you also have a link to the actual purchase or sale and you can also see how many shares that person actually owns overall and how much they just traded on that date so that is awesome in that sense uh, also you can see like what senators are trading any given stock like Apple or whatever you also get a direct link to their trade so that is awesome very very useful Sometimes senators and insiders know more information than everyone else. So following what they're doing can be extremely beneficial because you know if, if one random day, a bunch of insiders and senators start loading up on Apple shares, they probably know something that hasn't been released to the public yet and we could take advantage of that. Another cool thing is like, let's say you're just not looking for any specific um, trades related to a specific company like Apple or whatever. You can also just see general insider trades on the entire market overall, just with all ticker symbols. And you could filter this by only buy orders, only sell orders. You could also do the same for Senate trades as well, which is awesome, you know? Uh, following insiders in the people who lead our government is uh, a pretty smart thing to do when it comes to investing because they uh, tend to make some pretty smart decisions whether it's a coincidence or not. <laughs> so that's a topic for another video, but it's either way, it's a really cool feature. Um, also, if we go to the analyst tab, we can see like the some really cool information at the top right here. So you could type in like any company. I have Apple right now, but say we switch to Microsoft and press enter, you know, we can see that what the median price target for Microsoft is, what the high price target is, and what the low price target is. So that's really cool if you just want to get a gauge of what everyone, what everyone's price target is for any given company, the data loads within seconds. So that's cool. And you could see basically every single price target that there is for that given company and the article that goes along with it. So for example, like let's say you're looking at Microsoft and you could see that, you know, Wells Fargo has a price target of 300 for Microsoft and you want to look more into it, you can click the article button and it'll take you right to there. And it also shows you at what price Microsoft was at the time of the price target being announced. So that's really cool. The same thing also goes for upgrades and downgrades. So you can see all that good information and that is also very helpful. And then just like with the smart money tab where we saw you know, senators and insiders trades, on the right side of the screen, you can just see a bunch of new price targets for just stocks across the entire market. And the same thing with upgrades and downgrades. So it's like a perfect blend of you know seeing just some overall flow of the market overall, while also being able to get deep into any given company's 
price target. So it's awesome in that sense, and all this data loads as quick as possible. So that's awesome. And then what's even cooler is if you want to calculate your own price targets, we also have software for that. So basically if we head over to the calculator tab, what you can do is you can type in any company. So like in this example, we'll use Microsoft again, and you can press calculate. This is a DCF calculator. So basically this calculator where is where there's like basically no assumptions and it just gives you the default price targets for any given company uh, within seconds. Basically all of the assumptions are done automatically for you. But if you wanted to input your assumptions manually, you can also do that as well. So for example, you know, if you if you look at Microsoft and you're looking at like a five year analysis and like, let's say you're trying to find, you know, let's say you estimate the revenue to grow by, you know, let's just say 5% to make it easier. Let's say we do like 3%. 5% and in, in a great scenario, 8%, right? And you can input all of your other data and press calculate and you can see what price you should be paying for Microsoft. So this is just an, a random example. Of course, you can calculate and do your own assumptions however you want, but the main point is that you can input your assumptions and you can get price targets calculated automatically for you. So that's awesome, and there's three different cases for like a worst case scenario, a medium case scenario, and the best case scenario. So that's cool. You could also do it uh, related to currency, which is uh, very unique. Um, and then also there's like a growth uh, option as well. So not all companies are created equally. Basically some companies have been around for you know, 50 years while other companies are just in their growth stages. And we understand that. So you would not use a growth, cal you would not use a calculator like this on a company who maybe just started a couple years ago. In that scenario, you would want to use a growth calculator because the company is just in the earlier stage. So like you could also do that and you can get price targets as well. Like I said, there's a ton of options to customize this exactly how you want it. We also have a dividend discount model, which is awesome. So you can do it based on the company's dividends and find a price target like that. Again, this is just a random example. So please keep that in mind. And you could also, we also have a Ben Graham calculator, which is also awesome. So in terms of calculators, we have so many different options for you to calculate your own price targets. Um, it's really cool in that sense. And there's basically endless options for you know customization and for price target calculation. So it's one of my favorite features of the dashboard, being able to calculate your own price targets. It's pretty cool. And then moving on to the TA dashboard. So this is where we have just a little bit of technical analysis sprinkled in, but it is nice just to get a little bit of a gauge to see how companies are performing relative to other companies. So basically you can just input any two ticker symbols at the top. Right now we have uh, Meta and Tesla. Let's just say we change it to Microsoft and Tesla. We can see Microsoft on the left, Tesla on the right. Now we can see how these companies are one doing in terms of you could just say overall trend. So we could see we could see this year um, Microsoft is in a downtrend. Six months is in the downtrend, but for the week and month it is neutral. Where Tesla is in a downtrend for all four options, and then we can see which company is doing better than the other. So we can see like how Microsoft is has been moving relative to Tesla, um, and you know there are potential. There's a lot of options in terms of opportunities with this. If you just want to see like which companies are outperforming others. But if you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can get into like pairs trading and stuff like that. But um, what I really like to use is if we look in like the left right here, we can see the correlation between any given companies. And we can also see how they've been performing relative to each other. So we can see Tesla is actually outperforming Microsoft by 11.74% so far. So that's pretty cool. And then if we go back to the statements tab, I know we already covered all this stuff, but you know you can highlight any rows that you want and you can have access to all of the information you could possibly need. Uh, like we could see with Microsoft, or actually, so yeah, if we go to, let's say, let's say we go to Microsoft and like, let's say we walk through a sample example, right? Maybe you're looking to invest in Microsoft and you wanna see how their statements are looking. So you type in Microsoft, then you go to statements, right? And you could go to, let's say, the annual version or the annual uh, option we can say. 
And we can see that they have basically $14 billion in cash. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see they have $61 billion in debt. We can see their net debt. We can see um, how their revenue has been growing over time, their expenses broken down by category, how many shares they have outstanding, uh, how, many how much stock they've been repurchasing, um, their free cash flow levels. All the information you could possibly need is here for you to analyze. And then as we are back on the main dashboard page, um, it's extremely customizable, it's awesome. Um, and we're just always adding new features to the software. If this software seems like something you might be interested in, check out that first link in the description and the comments down below. It's awesome and it's only gonna get better with time. Like I said, we just add more and more features to it where it kind of acts as an investment in a way. As the price goes up, you will always be locked in at your rate. And basically just more and more things will be added over time. It works absolutely amazing right now, but it's just gonna get better as it ages. So definitely jump in before we do increase the prices. Uh, this software is something that I use every single day because fundamentals, even though they're boring, they are very important, especially for longer term investing and even for short term trading. I know it might not sound like it, but seeing a company's valuation today to where it should be can really give you an edge into what this stock can do going forward. So definitely check it out. It's gonna be that first link in the description in the comments down below. I'm so happy with this, how this new update turned out and I'm so excited to see how better the software gets over time. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.